got to back off. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, there you go. I mean, they'll have to adjust that, fix that, but yeah. we gotta move, so. You gotta get out the way. All right. So I'm hoping. Okay, so it I mean, snapped right there. Ah. Uh, yeah, that duct tape wouldn't even. I oh, see so you got it blocked off already? I think so. Okay. I think I do. Okay, sweet. I hope so. We'll see. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. That's the only thing I can think of. Y'all yeah, can smell we're locked up. Come on, there's a truck behind me now. Maybe he moved. Okay. The water still got you. We're still on the floor. Oh, yeah. yeah absolutely. I'll start doing that. Oh, okay. Feel your air pressure again. Okay, thank you, Mr. Lee. Okay. We're still losing a lot of air. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get it up to 120 and then I'll pop it back there. Just put the, if, you want, if you want me to do I'm really good at backing, so if you want me to do it, <laughs> I'll haul ass back there. We'll keep that RPM up, but... Once they move out the way, I'm gonna go for it. I was getting cold. I had to yeah, here. yeah. Keep the heat going right there. Yeah. Jesus. But I think I, I think I got it. It's uh, hopping a little bit, but it'll get us out the way. Yeah. Just... All right, Reef, come on. I think you'll be fine. There's nobody back there. Huh? I said I think you'll be fine. There's nobody back there. There's a reefer right here. I'm gonna curve it to the back. Yeah. There you go. Let's hold. Start PMs up. Let's hold. We're doing good. Yeah, she was real cool. Yeah, for sure. Especially like every state having their own. I think you'll be fine. I think you're up 
up, get it straightened up. And get it to the wall, that way when the mechanic gets here, he'll have all the, all the room away from that lane. Okay. Woo! All right. Man. That's... Good morning, YouTube. Oh, can see it. But it's hot out here. It's hot. 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 It's freezing out here. <laughs> We're broke down. Well, I'm broke down at a way station. Right out. Y'all see right there? Fort Collins, Colorado. Fort Collins. So my brake chamber snapped, the hose, the hose snapped to the chamber, the emergency line snapped. And um, he was able to get it, uh, like, released, we to back it yeah, up. We, we blocked off the, uh, we blocked off the line. <laughs> we blocked off the line with some duct tape, and I backed the brakes off, and we got it backed up over here to yeah. get out of the way. Because at first we were right there, like, at the scale house. <laughs> and she was like, uh, y'all got to move. Super nice lady, though. Real Super nice. nice. Yeah. Super nice. If you're ever uh, coming through... 25 and you want somebody nice to talk to you yeah stop at fort collins scale and, and talk to this uh officer First, yeah yeah, yeah. But we're broke down and why can't we we can't continue even if we got the truck fixed why can't we go anywhere because 80 is closed heading westbound out i don't believe eastbound due to snow in wyoming because i have to go up to wyoming to pick up our to get your permit hey yeah. ffe hey I got my CDL anyway. But yeah, let's get back in this truck because it's freezing. It's freezing? Yeah. Another day in the life, guys. Another freaking day. Uh oh, let's see what we got here. Uh oh, uh oh. It's a mess. The W900. It's a mess. Oh, look at that hood, guys. <laughs> That's nice. That's for sure. Man, this is a nice truck. If only. Yeah, it's a little bit of a mess. I didn't make my bed this morning, but oh, good. I do love it. I love my truck. I say. But yeah, guys. <laughs> yep. A day in the life. A day in the life. And so they said it's going to be about a about a thirty minutes to an hour wait. I called the nearest loves, and they're only about fifteen miles up the road. And so we called the owner of the trailer because we're using their trailers, and. Um, they're, they're going to pay for it and send somebody out here. So hopefully in the next hour or two hours we'll be out of here. Love said it should be a quick, easy. Yeah, get that fly. <laughs> there you yes. go. You go. Yes. Yeah. That never happens. I know, right? They always shoot out and shoot back in. Yeah. yeah well, these windows don't roll up like the air ones yeah. on the Peterbilt. Uh -huh. like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? But yeah, guys, we'll give you all an update here shortly. Right now we're just waiting on the uh, repairman to get here. And it's freezing cold out there, guys. Like overnight. 43 degrees. 43, really? But it's uh, I 80 is shut down westbound, possibly eastbound due to snow, which we did see yesterday that it was snowing out there. But I, I didn't think, think it was going to close it down. Yeah. He said snow and ice. I looked at the cameras too, and it's like there's no snow on the road. Really? But people are wrecking because people are idiots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ice probably. Yeah, yeah some ice. I was ready to say, all right, yeah, you know, a little ready, ice, I can, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, and then we got to go up to. We got to go into Wyoming up to the uh, port of entry, and I've got to go in there. I've got to get a permit a for permit, Wyoming, yeah. too. You can't so. call ahead. You have to go in there to get it. Yeah. I did call ahead. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, he's got, I've got a, um, I've got a little confirmation code. It's 13-3. Okay, okay. So, Easy process? Just 
Yeah. Okay, just sweet. run in there. Yeah, 13 feet. Okay. So just run in there, and he should be able to just give me the permit. Probably have to pay for it. So. Yeah. Did you get any uh, YouTube footage of this? Of this whole situation? This whole. I mean, I got standing back there. That's all. I okay. So y'all can check out his content as well. What's your YouTube channel? Uh, Trucker Duck 85. That's been my. Um, I started on TikTok, and I think it's. I'm gonna move to, to YouTube. Yeah. But I started on TikTok. Ooh, uh, like two years ago. Okay. You got some nice subscriber count. I was like, what? Thirteen thousand subscribers? I need to be friends with you. <laughs> you famous out here. Well, I'm definitely gonna be promoting uh, my boy Shot here. So. <laughs> Yeah, this guy is, man. I mean, what, I would break you, down, right? No problem. But as soon as we, we got in here, <laughs> I blinked my uh, flasher right there on the right side. I was like, oh, man. Right here in the scale house, too. But she was super cool and understanding. Oh, yeah. She, she just said, great. get out the way. But, man, that we literally, I broke down, like, right before we had pulled in. Because if you had broke down anywhere else, it would yeah. be because we're yeah. in construction. Yeah, and, yeah. So. Man, I, I don't, I didn't see it. I didn't run over anything, did I? I didn't see I saw something. Really? Because I noticed something pop up, like when you okay when you were driving. It, it was like this metal plate, and it looked like huh. I don't know. Maybe your uh, drives kicked it up, and it yeah. flew up and hit. I don't know. I didn't see anything big, but you know, you drive over something, especially like a metal a plate, you can, it'll yeah. pull it up. And, yeah. In a construction zone, it was zone, like, this it was like pitch black out here. Yeah. It, this has been this has been a trip. This has been. But it's been fun because yeah, it's we've been, been fun. <laughs> yeah, it's been like a back and forth deal. It's like, oh, the <laughs> thing happened, but eh, at least we got each other and we're right. gonna have fun. Right. Oh, the <laughs> thing happened. Right. I'm sorry. But then, this, this is gonna be. You're gonna get an emoji over your face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gonna like cut out. You're gonna get like the poop emoji over your face. So I've got to. I've got to learn to not be so. Um, I was a sailor. I was in the navy, and I'm a truck driver. So I've got. Oh, you got. <laughs> you got worst of both worlds. <laughs> yeah. That's, so it's like double win. Yeah, I'll I got the brakes yeah. locked up. It was like right there at the entrance to the scale house, and it just started. I was like, "What is going on?" It just started like, like dying. I was like, first I thought it was the truck. And I was like, "What is going on?" I heard the air leak, and I was like, "What?" First thing I thought was my airline, maybe it snapped, but going straight, it's like, yeah. and jump back there. And we, I was looking on the left side. You look on the right side. You're like, "Oh, I found a problem." Yeah. I was like, "What?" It's like, air air hose. Like, ah, yeah. snapped. But, what can he do? Yeah. I mean, but we can't go anywhere anyway with, at, with the I-80 mean, shut down. Really? Yeah. If we weren't going up through 25, we could yeah. let it ride. <laughs> you know, the other truck passed through. He was at least 18 inches of lumber hanging over. No oversized sticker. No. Was it a 48-foot or was it a Oh, that a is a good bed? question. That is a good question, yeah. Yeah, because that's what I learned. So, so the truck and trailer isn't supposed to be over 75 feet. Right. But my truck and trailer without a load on it, it's like 77. So, <laughs> yeah, I can't slide my, I can't slide my fifth wheel forward yeah, it's going because to... my pigtail gets in the way and the pigtail is the little thing that holds the yeah. lines. Yeah, you gotta move it, but man. I'm, I'm telling you. Oh yeah, 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 they, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so the pigtail gets in the way of turning with the trailer. So it's like, well, I, nobody said anything so far. I mean, yeah. I don't mean to take over your no, 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 you're Stop. good, you're good. This is, this you, is... You can be hitting no, I'm literally... Much, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm literally, I'm trying to see how many of these trucks are going to get pulled in from being <laughs> overweight. But so far, so good, everybody's... Oh, they actually get in the way? Because when you went over it, see, you didn't... Or you didn't go over it, but when the next guy went over it, you didn't pull in the way. I don't know. I don't see it. Really. But yeah, guys, this sucks. This... But yeah, like you said, at least we ain't got to do it by ourselves. This has been like a pull back and forth. Because this guy was ready to run across, what, three or four states with no permit, guys. But no, I didn't know. But yeah, but he didn't know. And then it was me that almost got him in trouble. Because had you got pulled over at that scale house yet? Like with that done. DOT officer, she went, okay, where's your, your, where's your permit, sir? But she got me, guys. Because he asked me, honestly, he'd be like, what should we do? I said, you So you see the highway in front of you? <laughs> and then, like, what, three, four minutes later, I was like, are those lights behind us? And first like, no, I don't see anything. And then it got closer and closer and closer and closer. I was like, oh, no. Yeah, then then the officer, I guess it was a female officer, yeah, she no, came out, because it was too late. She came out, and I'm like, she's going to pass him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. It's, and she told me, you were in the back. 
said, I'm getting you. I said, ah, y'all saw it in yesterday's, uh, yesterday's vlog. Good morning. Yes, ma'am. How you doing? Doing all right. You guys both bypassed the way station. You're in the back, so you got to be the one that got stopped. Yeah, you gotta watch it. Yeah, 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 you're in it. Because he, he even offered to stop. Like, should I stop too? I was like, no, she can't get both of us. <laughs> I, said, I was just trying to be nice. Yeah, I was like, hey, she can't get both. I was like, hey, it was my, this was my deal. You know, all but, get on out of here. And then I went about six miles down the road and pulled over. <laughs> yeah, six miles just to find out you needed a permit. Yeah. Guys, this is this has been a trip. But it's been fun. It's all a learning experience. For sure. It's a beautiful thing about being a truck yeah. driver. You learn yeah. every day. Yeah. And it's a beautiful scenery out here. We're about to go through the mountains and possible snow and ice. Beautiful scenery out here. Yeah, but... Definitely, like you said, a learning curve. But we're gonna sit here and wait a little while and waiting on this repair. And when they get here, we'll let you guys know. All right, guys, Loves is here. Yeah. Let's, let's go check out that repair and see what we got going on. <sighs> yeah, she came off all right. Yeah. But I had to cut that shit full of tape. Stuff full of tape. That thing, the hose full of tape. God, I gotta stop that. Oh, like that one word. I try not to say the F word. Oh, no, the right. The GD word. But the S word. That's like, like your go to. That, that's like you see that on television. I, so, do you? Yes. Oh, snap. GD you see on television. Oh, yeah. And the. No, you're still good. Yeah. Like it's, it's as good as it's. Yeah, this good. strap, man. This, this thing is doing wonders. Well, let's see what dispatch says to if we're gonna be able to still I mean, drop we off today. Back up there. Nope, it's too windy for that. No, thank you. I'm not <laughs> climbing up <laughs> and move it back over to make it look perfect. But, yeah. Uh, I mean, nope. This, not only that, if you look in there, it's huh? covered in plastic. Inside. Yeah, it is. It's got plastic so on the inside. So it's like we really did double tarped. Off. Yeah. All right, guys, we are fixed and ready to go. Thank you, loves. Thank you, thank you. Let's get back on his interstate. Ugh. All right, so we'll see what's next. What's going on with the weather? Up there on I-80 and see if we can get around that snow and that ice. So let's get back on this road. All right, let's hit the road. They told us to scale out and we're good to go. Give him some space. Somebody else broke down up here too. Either that or they told him to pull in and get something big. All right, we're clear. clouds and the sun and everything but if you look back there carefully in the background you'll see some Colorado mountains I'm 
not pop, but I can picture it's rolling. Sliding, riding, driving, taking pics, enjoying the moment. See, when I'm with you, yeah, I feel the hate considered it a bonus. I know they mad that I'm with you, and we became a component. But as the wind blows, so the sun shine in the morning. Meaning I never have a doubt the light's bright at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, I might go through some things in it would normally crumble, but we together and we can weather the storm. You got me a song. Man, I keep my focus, no distractions, LeBron. I throw the trophy, but they hoping that I'm lacking the heart. They think I'm joking when I say that you was right from the start. It ain't no way that I can win if we get broken apart. I know I need you like a beanie to honey, like carrots and bunnies, like cheetahs and running. I like some food and I tell it. All I need and all I ask for is you. Yeah, you the only one I need. So tell me, can we ride? Can we cruise? I'm glad you in it in my life You decided to heal me, grow and get through it See, I'm not perfect and I make mistakes Sometimes they be foolish But you look past it and you stuck around my ride in the truest I guess you seen something in me to do it And I'm thankful for real You keep me going, take me far as I can You push me hard and I'll get smarter Better father, raise my daughters Help me grow and become grown as a man You think they hear what I'm saying? A better position when I followed your plan I put away my childish thoughts It's time to think like a man I guess the only way to show them Right out to the end And never lose sight Stand focused Super glued to the plan I know I need you Like the country needs land Or like the church And these fans Or like most children Need plan Or like some love And romance All I need And all I ask for Is you Tell me can you ride with me Can we slide Can we cruise Well guys, it was fun while it lasted. According to the CB, I don't know if y'all can tell, but it, it, there, there are patches of ice. But a flat better slipped and he is um, blocking the whole interstate. I don't know if he jackknifed, if he flipped over or what, but according to the people on the CB, uh, we are gonna be here for a while. So, 
We are here right outside of Laramie, Wyoming, right here off of I-80. They did open up I-80, y'all probably y'all could probably tell out of uh, Cheyenne. They opened the interstate, but now we're sitting in this traffic right here. This is trying to get me the exit of the interstate. And then there's more traffic going up here. Yep, everybody's fresh. I guess there's a flat better fucking sideways up here in one spot. That would be correct. Okay, appreciate it. I heard nobody say nothing, so I was just asking. You're good. Yeah, that's the What? Uh, truck sideways at about uh, 328. Is he jackknife flipped over or what's going on? I have no words, guys. Zero, nada. This whole trip has just been... Oh, man. And then I wanted to drop this load off because my pay period ends Monday, uh, Friday morning. I said, if we could have dropped this load off this morning, I could have got paid for it you know, the following week. It's not gonna happen. So the only thing I'm gonna have is the three thousand dollars of revenue that I made um, with the two earlier loads I did this week. Yeah, let's just say usually guys the way the revenue works, I probably only bring home after expenses, after I deduct for my truck note and fuel and, and all that kind of stuff. I usually only bring home 27% once Landstar takes out their cut and everything. About 27% of what the uh, gross revenue is. So if I have a $10,000 a week, I'm bringing home 2,700 bucks. So uh, for $3,000 a week, do the math. And then come to find out, uh, for the state of Wyoming, AJ did not need a permit to go through Wyoming. He did need a permit through Colorado, and he does need one for uh, Utah, but he did not need one for Wyoming. So he pulled into the scale house, walked in there to get, to get a permit. Because with Wyoming, you have to go in to get a, uh, a permit. You can't just, you can call ahead, but you have to pick it up from the, uh, the way station, or the inspection station at the port of entry. So he didn't need one. Well, there's no Camino up here. We'll see how long this takes. I think they're inching up. I don't know what's going on. They might be forcing some people to exit or something. But. Mm. Should we put our seatbelt back on? Might as well creep. But yeah, guys, let's see how long it takes to get through this. Like, we're moving. Oh, man. Yeah, we sat there for about 20 minutes. 
minutes, 30 minutes. I'll be able to see exactly. But.
Oh, we're gonna take a little break. Got some nice scenery behind us. It's been a trip. You wanna tell them to update? Us What's been going days. on? It's taking us three days to go 1,200 miles. Yeah. So our load got postponed to Monday because we missed our delivery time. So our load got postponed. We got stuck in that traffic for like two or three times. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then we had, uh, well, for lack of a better term, two steering wheel holders decided they want to play a uh, drag race up the... Uh, for about 20 miles. It was bad. Going 65 miles an hour, holding up both the left and right lane. Every time we want to make a little bit of progress, we drop back. And, and the speed limit out here, guys, is 80. Which everybody's doing 85. And they're doing 65, over like 20 straight miles. Yeah, all, yeah. Hogging up both lanes. 170 mile marker. And finally, one gave up and backed off and came over at about the 150 mile marker. After like 20 miles. And the low got postponed that, and then that flipped over uh, 18 oh, yeah. wheeler on the ice. Yeah, somebody, uh, it was coming down right past, what was that? Uh, it was through Laramie. Uh, yeah, it was past Laramie. Yeah. It, was just, it wasn't really a steep grade, but it was just kind of a long grade. And he went over the median, landed in on the oncoming lanes. Like, it, it looked pretty bad. Yeah. But it didn't look like there were any vehicles other than him involved. Yeah. So, but it must have just happened because the traffic, the traffic really wasn't yeah. that backed up. Uh -huh. We had and missed it, about like a minute or two. Yeah, and he, he, he took out the whole, like, he covered the whole lanes. The whole yeah. Side. Yeah, and then there was a flatbedder who did the same thing, like Jack Mack across yeah. the interstate. So, we guys on that slow ice, down. yeah, slow down on that ice, man. Slow down. No load is worth your life. Yeah. Yeah, but those, steer, those two steering wheel holders just, and none of them were even phased. They were just, yeah, open the wheel. <laughs> Man. Uh, I got a good chuckle out of it. At first, I was a little peeved, and I'm like, nah. After the whole day. It's Friday the 13th. Yeah. Something's going to happen. It's just going to happen to be it. But yeah, guys, we're going to go over to the TA. Yep. Do our 10-hour break. We're only about an hour and a half away. Maybe two hours. Oh, yeah, from our drop. Yeah, yeah. and so cool. then. We'll just do that two hours tomorrow. Yeah, we're just gonna finish it off. Yeah. We'll probably stay at the other TA there. Right. And, uh, so and then wait till Monday. So if you're around Salt Lake City and you wanna see two crazy truckers. I know, right? We're right here. Yeah, for those of y'all who are in Salt Lake City, let me know if y'all wanna come reach out. We'll get the TA out there. Yeah, we'll Anybody out there in Salt Lake City's got free laundry, you let us know. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I got a whole bag of laundry. Yeah, so do I. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Jeez. Yeah. Let's get on this interstate. <laughs> I did really good. I didn't see any curse words. So I'm working on it. You didn't have to poop emoji me. Oh, there's going to be a few of those. There's going to be a bunch of those. <laughs> Let's get on this interstate. Guys, it has been a long week. It is Friday evening, and uh, we're about an hour and a half away, so we got a little bit more driving to do. So we're gonna sleep in tomorrow. We've been getting up between like three and five all week. And so we're gonna sleep in only an hour and a half away. This is gonna kill our revenue, because we're only sitting at about $3,000 of revenue for the week. 
and so uh, we did possibly find another good paying load for next week but I don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments should I stick it out with flatbed or go back to dry van please let me know and thank y'all for all the tips on dry van I've been taking all those tips and uh, advice into consideration so you guys will see me start applying some of those uh, in future loads and future opportunities but uh, for those of you asking it is not a Landstar step deck I know the owner of this step deck and so we're just uh, we're just using them for however long we need them and so uh, if y'all have any questions comment down below thank y'all for all the comments thank y'all for all the support we have surpassed 4700 subscribers if you have not subscribed to the channel yet please like share comment subscribe all that stuff down below um everything that you need to know about me is down there in the description y'all look at it check it out let me know what you think and uh yeah as y'all can see i'm starting to catch a little cold from this weather out here uh, i've not been properly dressed i mean i have the wardrobe here i just you know jump out the truck and do whatever i gotta do but i have not been uh properly dressed so i will be doing that for the remainder right remainder of our trip out here but guys i'm going to get some much needed rest because it has been a long stressful week so i'm about to do that um thank y'all for going to go subscribe to aj's channel um he uh he's looking to do something you know with the trucking real cool dude and very knowledgeable as you can see so he'll be uh if you're on tiktok check out his tiktok as well but guys this is lone star texas ranger signing off I will catch you guys at noon Central Standard Time tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow. Monday. Yes, Monday, because I might go live with you guys on uh, Sunday. So I'll see you guys noon on Monday.